Oh, I see. I get it. How's this, folks? Okay. So because what this physicist, ouch, the umbrella, because what this physicist or physicists are saying, that uh, because they've found these high traces, if I read it right, they find these high traces of barium in the fucking tundra and the Arctic frost and in the Antarctic or Arctic, and they can carbon date it or spectrographic of radioactive isotope redshift Doppler, whatever. They can trace it back to a certain period of time, 26,000 years ago or what have you like that, right? And then they start looking at woolly mammoths with all this shit frozen in their stomach. And then they get the paleontologists or what have you, the anthropologists saying, hey, look, and at this time we found this in the skeletons or the skeletal record. So basically they think, all oh, right, around about this time, 26,000 years ago, is when uh, Neanderthal kind of disappeared and when Cro-Magnon or whatever took over or disappeared and then saw the rise of Homo sapiens sapien. Right. So it would seem that these Nazi doctors and these simplistic reductionist fuckers think, ah, oh, right, because there was this burst of gamma rays or what have you, this gravitational field or what have you from the center of the galaxy, uh, you know, to do with this Mayan long count calendar or what have you, and high traces of barium, they equate this with the evolutionary jump. That when that happened 26,000 years ago, all of a sudden we went from Neanderthal to Homo sapiens sapien. So they're thinking, all right, if we introduce loads and loads of barium, yeah, then we can help push along the evolutionary jump to make Homo superior, you know, like thus spake Zarathustra or something. That's very simplistic thinking. You know why? Because, yeah, it's a cosmic recipe, yeah? If, as the scientists are figuring out, when this thing happened, the alignment, the X-rays or whatever rays from the center of the galaxy bombarding the planet and we mutate, right? It's not just that. There are a whole load of other variables involved. You have to have the planets in certain positions. Jupiter has to be over there, Saturn there, Venus there, Alpha Centauri, the galaxies, you know, the other galaxies all have to be in certain positions, thereby, you know, affecting the electromagnetic fields and the gravity fields and the amount of sun ray and this, that, and the amount of gamma ray and, and also then perhaps the spores coming down from space and the microbiological organisms in the atmosphere or out in space that they find or they contract the amino acids. Anyway, there has to be these things all lined up as well as the barium. Yeah? Not just, oh, let's add extra barium and then we'll get a, a jump on evolution. No, you dumb fucks. Yeah? It's a bit like if you ask Heston Blumenthal, yeah, or a chef, yeah? Right? If he's making a souffle, or you're making bread, or you're making bechamel, or you're making Bavarian creams, bavoa, or any of these recipes, or you're doing chocolate work, right? You can't beat the egg too much. You can't do this with the butter too much or heat it too much because it will split, yeah? You can't overcook your baked Alaska or the uh, ice cream will melt, yeah? You can't just think, all right, I'll add tons more sugar and that will make this happen, the meringue more sweet. Now, if you add too much sugar or too, too little um, egg white, or what, you'll fuck the whole recipe up. Yeah? You see what I'm saying here? It's a cosmic recipe. It's a cosmic cake. Yeah? If barium was introduced in high quantities, the barium was counteracted or had other variables involved, such as I said, with the moon being over there and Venus being there, and these spores from space and the bacteria from here, and the alignment of that affecting the gravitational field, and Jupiter suddenly being affected by the rays that are bouncing off that supernova over there, that black hole which makes it have an electrical field or field or storm that sends more of this and more of that and balances the whole equation out. You've got so many different variables that have to come together at the right time just like if you're baking a really complex souffle or cake or you're making ice cream or any dish. Yeah, you need the right temperature, you need the right process in the right order at the right time. You can't go thinking, oh, I'll make it extra more powerful or I'll get ahead of time by adding loads and loads of extra barium. The barium is being introduced ahead of time. So there isn't the other variables, the other balancing factors around to make shit happen. You fuck up 
the recipe. Yeah, it's like someone left the cake out in the rain. I don't think they could take it. I think they can bake it and they'll never have that recipe again. You know that song? Bad paraphrase lyrics. But you see what I'm getting at, folks? It's just that I haven't smoked and I haven't missed that why I'm gabbling a bit. But basically, yeah, don't think. Yeah, in your reductionist simplicity thinking, oh, look, we've analysed it. There was loads of barium. Oh, and it's in the woolly mammoth stomach. And oh, yeah, that must mean if we introduce barium, yeah, ahead of time, we can create superhumans. Hmm, that'll be us. And everyone who can't take it will catch a cold and be weak and blah de blah de blah Yeah, we'll have homo superior. No, you fucks. For example, let me look at the time, what I'm doing on this. The time, the time. Okay, I'm doing all right for them. For example, folks, what was I going to say? All the barium that they're supposedly introducing into the upper atmosphere, I don't know now because people are looking up and saying, don't do, don't do it during the day. Let's do it at night in black ops planes and no one can see it. And let's do it just over the, just off the coast of Ireland, over the Atlantic, where no one can see the planes flying and then come over. Listen, all that barium or whatever it is you're spraying in there, it will come down in the rain. You know about KOC or homeopathy? Homeopaths introduce minute, minute, minute little things into something and it has a big effect. Same with the butterfly effect. A little flap over here, create a storm over there, right? Now, you're introducing such large quantities of barium up there, right? What will happen, and what is happening is, it comes down in the rain and the soil, yeah? Your biospheric chain or whatever it is, your cycle, not carbon cycle, but the fucking, you know, that water cycle, your agricultural cycle, yeah? It can't take, as I said, planets aren't aligned, this isn't happening, spores from space, they aren't balancing, you know, variable or, or things to balance out. So probably all that barium I'm putting up there will come down, will go into the soil, the grass, the plants, the trees, the oceans will not be able to absorb it and you will start to kill off the very fabric of life period on the planet, yeah? You will destroy the fucking grass, you will destroy the fucking... Bo That's probably why the bees are dying out, you dumb fucks, you cocksuckers. And I've read, apparently, that bats... There's a study now being done about bats in North America. Bats are getting fungus, yeah? Because you've introduced too much barium too early on into the whole cosmic process and you've thrown the whole thing out of balance. As I said, it's like baking a cake and doing too much of the recipe of certain ingredients in the recipe at the wrong fucking time. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I know what. Oh, barium's in the soil. The scientists said that's what made us go from Neanderthal to uh, Homo sapiens. So if we add extra barium, we'll turn into super Homo sapiens. No, you dumb fucks. Yeah, it's a cosmic cake that is being baked and mixed and it needs to be aerated at the right time in the right order. And I'm repeating myself because you're so thick, I have to try and get through to you. Yeah, people wondering why bees are fucking dying out and why the oceans are so acidic. Yeah, and soon they'll start to see fucking forests die and fucking grasslands die and everything. It's because you dumb, simplistic, reductionist military scientists and other dumb fucks you don't know your ass from your elbow, yeah? You need things to be in position at the right time. Nature is perfect in itself. It's done it already. The evolutionary leap, if it's going to happen, happens in its own time on the 21st of December 2012. You go add in other elements beforehand. The other fucking elements aren't there to balance it out, count it out, and make the whole thing come together in a unified way, yeah? You preempt things and you fuck everything up. Fucking bury them, gonna kill off all the fucking soul. And then what are you gonna do, you military intelligence ruling elite fucks? Live in a bunker for fucking what? A thousand years eating fucking the biscuits that you piled up that have a shelf life of five years and hope that you can fucking turn into something like in a time machine, Morlocks, and then feed off people like your fucking Charlton Heston in Soylent Green? You dumb simplistic fucks. Yeah? You're going to kill the goose that laid the golden egg, kill yourselves and kill everyone else, including your own, about, oh, we can make ourselves special and we'll, we'll be here safe. No, you dumb fucks about introducing barium. Now I see why.